What's up, everybody? Viper here. Today we got another base tour. This was sent to me by Michael, and he's got his base here at the White House. And he's cleared out quite a bit of trees around, but it's still, you know, nice and woodsy around here. So we're going to head on inside. I do like the way he put his little towers, because if you don't do this, if you try to sleep inside them, the infect would get underneath it and uh, you wouldn't be able to sleep. So with the fences there, he can, you know, sleep just fine in any of the towers. Plus, you don't have to worry about something getting right below him, so he won't be able to shoot it, like uh, infect it or whatever. Now, I can't wait for the, uh, the dev to come out with actually the base attacks or whatever the hell they're supposed to be. When they actually can climb the walls, because I'm kind of looking forward to that. Hopefully that'll happen sometime soon, but who knows. So once we go inside, he's got everything, you know, nicely arranged in here. I'm going to close that in case we get any uninvited guests. And uh, he's managed to find three trucks. And the hell, let's just go over here first. Damn, he's got uh, two, f six suitcases in each one of them. It's kind of a pain to actually put all this stuff in here. Alright, nothing much in there. Clear. This must be his uh, looting truck, maybe. And he does have lights here, so we will have to check it out at night. And then he's got a nice little uh, wood processing room. Batteries, booze, God, a lot of booze. Michael, you might have a problem. All right, we got some salt, some scrap, uh, some unsafe water, some wood, logs and stuff. Yeah, so he processes wood out here. He's got some food and stuff in here tools, you know, just a regular, regular little shed, has all his tools out here, a bunch of fuel, ready to go, wonder if all these are full, oh damn, it is, yep, that's quite a bit of fuel, like 300 liters or something like that. Now, he has been in the game 260-some days, so that's, you know, that's more than enough time to collect all that fuel. You don't really use that much fuel unless you're running your generator a lot. Like, the vehicles hardly use any fuel at all. He's got his little still over here, making some booze. Just got to keep the uh, Scott from drinking it all. He's got some flu... Uh, some biofuel for his diesel, a little generator. Rocks. Bunch of iron. And then scrap and components. He's got most of the stuff lined up like we're, uh, so it's easy to find. Like putting the stuff by the, the, the leather stuff by the drying rack is a good way to remember where everything is. And then wood. All right, let's go inside. Nice little place to sit out here and look at the uh, tomatoes. All right, in here we got this crafting room. A bunch of charcoal. Stuff to build a fire. It's water, safe water. Level 3 workbench. Crafting stuff. Some iron for the reloading bench. Or not iron, but, you know, brass and stuff's in here. Damn, that's a lot of zinc. You'll never use that. Oh, got a lot of bows. Kind of love that. 
Damn, a whole lot of sprites. It's a little, uh, little radio bench. Yeah, a bunch of uh, sewing kits here. A lot of arrows. A couple chainsaws. Molotovs, nice. Some meat, some more food and food. Just crafting stuff. Oh, it's got his tape right by his uh, repair bench. I don't really care too much for the repair bench. There's only a few things I'll actually repair. Sometimes it's just easier to make new ones over repairing them. Salt. Just various stuff in here. Ah, oh, he took out the top cabinets. I thought there was something missing here. I think he probably got rid of the other extra set of cabinets as well. A lot of matches. A little water purifier. Just normal stuff in here, nothing crazy. It's a lot of iron, or low qual metal, I should say. Where's the good stuff? All right, it's the bottom floor. Now we looked over here, yeah. All right, we're gonna go up into the rooms. Oh, we got his uh, his drying rack, you know. Keep it on the second floor, that way that no, no rats or nothing can get to it. Pretty much empty in there. More meat. Oh, these are all dry guts. Is this all meat? Yeah, it's meat. Looks like Michael likes the bow as well. And then you got a nice little room up here. Got some gloves. And some ammo and all the weapon types. And then some boots, some hard hats. All right, what do we got over here? Some broken weapons, some grenades, some more ammo, and then a bunch of different weapons. So this is probably his room right here. I guess he makes the uh, Scott and him just stay outside. Because he can keep them out with these nice little fences here. Where the hell are they at? Yeah, I like this. Keep all your ore nicely. Uh... Oh, damn. Let me get out of here. Organized. Well, there's Scott. Kind of looked depressed there for a minute. He was just looking at the ground. All right. We've got a nice bed in here. Oh, there's Rachel. I figured she was either... Oh, she's mad now. I'm talking about her. She's going away. Figured she'd be sitting down or holding up a wall somewhere. Yeah, this must be uh, their their little house. And you got Kate out here. Got a nice little uh, practice dummy. Is that all in here? Yeah, you know, you could, looks like you got three chairs for everybody. I guess Scott and uh, Kate like to sleep on the ground. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that's Rachel's bed in there. You got another workbench out here for them to work on. You know, they could play on a swing set. And you got a nice little farm over here. And these these corn are actually ready to harvest. Same with these tomatoes. I really like the, the, the look of this, you know, the planter boxes. I just wish they wouldn't glitch out and you can actually use them. You know, because if, if I harvest all this, then I wouldn't be able to plant them all back, and it's kind of annoying. So what we got over here? Some pots, or not pots, some barrels. Does he not use watering cans? Ew. I 
don't know if he uses watering cans or not. But these barrel or these buckets are they suck for trying to to uh, water the uh, the plants because it takes sometimes two or three damn barrels or pot. Uh, sometimes it takes two or three of these buckets to you know water these things. I don't know. Farm is just a whole a whole big old mess right now. Anyway. Let's go ahead and go up here and uh, get a bird's eye view. He actually spent quite a bit of time to get most of these, uh, the walls to line up kind of like they did. Because damn, they're actually pretty straight. That's one thing I wish they would do is have stuff snap in. Um, just so it'd make building a little bit easier. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and bring you back in a bit. I'm going to go ahead and light it up and see what it looks like at night. Alright, so we're coming up on the White House at night. Actually looks pretty, pretty, rather pretty up here. Damn dogs barking, but I damn sure I've never seen a dog in this game. And there we got another base tour. Thanks again, Michael, for sending me your save file. You've got everything nice and neatly arranged, and I could go in this save and actually play the game just fine, because everything's so nice and neat, and everything's got its own little proper place. Uh, but it's a well well put together base you have here, and I, I definitely appreciate it. But I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.